Welcome back guys to another Jurassic Park 3 Hasbro video. I have uh, another figure I'm going to be reviewing. We're going to be looking at a Wave 1 figure. See if you get this guy out since I just reviewed the animatronic Spinosaurus. Why not do this guy next? The smaller down version of the animatronic Spinosaurus. Oops. The figure can stand by itself pretty good. For the most part, here's a, here's a Jurassic Park 3 Billy figure that came with the all-terrain Dino Traver. So you can get a size idea of how big this Spinosaur is. So, he's a lot smaller than the animatronic Spinosaurus you see in the background that I already reviewed. A smaller version of him. Here's uh, two other... This came with the Diver. The Spinosaurus came with the Diver, and then this was the other Hatchling Spinosaurus that came with Amanda Kirby. Both have their Jurassic Park 3 marks on their leg. Pretty cool. This one painted look more like this one and that one. But this one's also pretty cool too. It's got the blue, the aqua blue. Pretty cool looking. He's sporting a brownie slash bronzy gold color. Just like the animatronic Spinosaur. Looks almost, not 100% like the movie, but it's close enough for toy form anyway. He's got a little bit of gray, you can see on his head, and going down a little bit of gray mixed in. There's not much, but there's a little bit. Overall, uh, he's not like one of, like I said, not one of the best Jurassic Park 3 figures, but uh, there was a lot more worse figures than this guy, so this guy isn't that bad. He's got the Jurassic Park 3 logo on his leg like all the other figures do. And some pretty fine detail, considering it's a Hasbro figure. Not Papo status, but... It, here's the lazy dino damage wound that all the Jurassic Park 3 figures have. You press this bone button, you can see that square. You press that bone button, and... He will make a roar. One thing, like I said too, the Jurassic Park 3 figures had really awesome sounds. It was almost like they took the exact sounds from the movie and used it for the figures. Like, uh, some of the earlier Dress Park figures, the Kenner figures, had, like, just goofy electronic sounds. So Dress Park 3, hats off, one up to them for getting some of these sounds right. Just like the Pack Raptor from Wave 2, he's got a button under his throat, and like some of the other Dress Park 3 dinosaurs, you press this button and his mouth will open. Very cool sounds. Damn you, Billy, why don't you stand up? So yeah, there's a lot more worse figures that came out. If I had to rate this Spinosaur, I'd give him probably around a 4, just a solid 4 for this this one. He sizes right up with uh, the other T-Rex. That was the same size as them. They're both the same size and size up together. There was another version of the T-Rex that was larger, called the Ultra T-Rex or something or Tyrannosaurus Rex for this line. It was slightly bigger, and it could stand up more to the animatronic Spinosaurus than this guy could, because this guy's tiny compared to that beast. But, uh, yeah. Thumbs up the video if you enjoyed this. If, tell me what you guys think of this figure and uh, what you want to see next. Subscribe, and have a great weekend.